So should you buy or not this type of cars? Now, what we're talking about here? We are talking about classic 1970 Caddy, a junker. These are called junkers. And should you buy this or not? Actually, I do have one like this in immaculate condition. But here we have another one. This one is parked on the street in Brooklyn. And as you can see, as you can see, now, you get this car here, and you manage to talk to the owner, he will tell you all the good things why the car is in this shape. Front grill missing. Uh, car has been in an accident, as you can see. Nothing, it's, see these little things? These are the important things, you know. That means front collision, front collision here. You see the lines are starting here and they're going sideways. The line here, it's barely closed. And then you have like a huge gap here. That means the body of the car has been twisted. That speaks of front collision. But now you decide to buy this car. You just like it and you think, oh, you know what? Just a minor thing. You know, I'm going to change the vinyl top. I'm going to do some repair. The saloon looks pretty great. There's missing parts inside. And, uh, and uh, yeah, you think about this thing. You're thinking, you're thinking. But uh, as you can see, as you can see, you're trying to estimate the damage. You're trying to estimate the damage. But, but one thing is for sure. That this car grew plants, flowers, moss, all this interesting stuff. I don't know if you can see it on the light. I cannot see it on the monitor. But this car grew some cool stuff, you see. It has been neglected. It has been heavily neglected. So now... You have this conundrum. Should I buy it or should I not buy it? And the price of these cars can go from uh, somewhat 500 to a couple of thousands. And the guy may say, hey, I give it to you for $4,000. You know, you got to fix this, you got to fix that, you got to fix this. But wait a minute, that's that's a danger. That's a danger, you see? You see? Rims, one rim like this, the other rim like that. Broken here. These little parts, you got to look for them in junkyards, in places, in this and that. And then you are in big trouble. Generally, you are in big trouble. Now, let's see if this one opens. This is parked on the street. It's closed. But... uh. The headliner, you cannot see it inside, but it's sogging. A lot of work. So, make the mathematics. Make the mathematics. Front grill, this much money, that, that's much money, this one to fix this much money. Some parts, but the important part is here is the, 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 the one that you cannot fix. And what you cannot fix in this car, or what you can fixed but it's going to be absolutely money pit like the cosmetics yes but these things you see this one thing this gap here that ends up here start here and ends up there and everything is twisted that's going to be a couple of thousand dollars job if you want to do it properly so if you see just cosmetics well Go ahead. A little bit of body work. If you have the time, the money, the resources, yes, just a little bit of work. Clean it, polish it, make it nice. Yes. Repaint it. Absolutely for sure for this one. But if the things comes like this, beware. Now, this front collision may also bring a lot more problem 
with the engine, with the transmission working properly, with the suspension, the front suspension is messed up. So there you have it. There you have it. Brom. Nice. Cadillac. Good engine. The strong engine. Five liters. Everything looks good on the surface with the minor garbage you see here. But please don't buy this car. So there you have it.